I'm nappy and I'll be showing you how to do one of my favorite bass effects. Yeah, like that one. Alrighty, first things first, we want to look for bass hits so then that way we can know where we can place our bass. Don't know if you already noticed, but I already went ahead and placed some markers on a few of our bass hits already. And if you're following along, make sure to make great use of these markers, like they really save lives. Alrighty, we're gonna go over here and grab an adjustment layer and place it on the marker. We're gonna extend it out and later we'll put an effect in. Uh, we'll get to that later. Well, well, we're gonna go to the effects panel and type in a directional blur. And then we're gonna drag and drop. So all we have to do now is adjust the effect. So we go up here and we're going to just crank it up a little bit. Um, you can really put this number to anywhere that you see fit. Um, I just play around with the numbers uh, with different shots to get different results. So it's really your world here. I like to stick to the 35 to like 47, like somewhere, like kind of sort of like just within that, that range. Sometimes I go low, do 14. Um, then what we're going to do is cut the adjustment layer frame by frame and delete every other frame. Okay, so this effect is a hard yet subtle effect so as you can see here i only have three and let's see how this looks okay. i'm i'm loving it uh so what we're gonna do is we're just going to just copy these we're gonna hold alt drag and just place them right where our markers are i told you these markers save lives if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. And if there is a bass effect that you prefer using, why don't you let us know in the comments below?